Happy New Year. <laughs> Fashalawa appreciated the media for their criticisms and commendations in 2014, says their import has helped in the development of the state. The state has recorded tremendous transformation in the area of security, housing and agriculture by weighing many youths into farming. Its empowerment program also saw more than 21,000 beneficiaries. There is also the building of independent power plants, IPP for government institutions and hospitals in Lagos. Talking about infrastructure and transportation, many routes and ferry terminals were opened while work continues on the light rail, among many other achievements. Fashola mentioned the health sector as one of the most challenging in the year under review. Eight maternal and child care centers were inaugurated in Ikorodu, Badagri, Amu Wodofi, Alimosho, Leki, among others, to reduce maternal and infant mortality. The state also came up with plans to have exclusive breastfeeding for babies from three months to six months. Female officer shall be entitled to 24 weeks maternity leave with full pay in case of her first two deliveries. A male officer to whom a new baby or babies in case of multiple birth is born shall be entitled to 10 working days paternity leave. But the most daunting challenge faced in the sector had to do with the Ebola virus disease brought into the country in August 2014 by a Liberian American, Patrick Sawyer. The government of Lagos moved swiftly into action by building an isolation center in the state. Its solid response was the saving grace for Nigeria and Nigerians. We didn't budget for Ebola. Nobody thought it would come. But it was the flexibility that had come into our budget. Immediately it came, we began to see how big the challenge was getting men and women and uh, uh, structures behind the challenge. Uh, we knew that there were financial issues to be, and we quickly adapted because it's our own plan. We knew where to trim off. Some health workers paid the ultimate price, while others are saved. But welcoming the saved ones back to the society was another challenge for the governor, ex executives, and journalists who have done well to reassure the public that Ebola is not a death sentence and that they should integrate such survivors back into the society. In education, after three years of protest over tuition fee by Lagos State University students, Governor Babatunde Fashola reverted the fee from 350,000 naira, in some instances, to 25,000 naira. A big relief for the students and a timely move to shore up its administration's image. The current economic realities of our country compel a return to the old school fee structure. The achievements of 2014 were said to have been made possible by the huge impact of 489 billion naira budget of 2014 and a solid tax policy. The first citizen of Lagos said he will not rest on his laurels until he bows out of office in May this year. <laughs> Adidoja, Salam Adini, TVC News, Nigeria, Lagos.